So we've talked a little bit about targeting and a little bit about the kind of concept of insights and personalization. Data and technology are also driving, apart from an overhaul of what businesses like mine do for our clients, they're also driving an overhaul in the way that we do it. So we have creative acceleration. Uh, this was a headline from last year where Alibaba's uh, AI engine can generate 20,000 lines of copy a second. So if you're creating uh, either content that's going to go directly into an e-commerce platform or potentially into a kind of an email platform, this kind of, this kind of machine can produce the words that would, that would go with the images that go out there and do it in a way that's highly personalized around the person that's browsing at that point in time, which is fantastic in, in, in many respects. Uh, however, at some point, some human still needs to look at it to make sure that it does actually make sense. And this is Adobe, one of the Adobe products. So Adobe, massive players in the creative industry. Uh, their technology and their software is used to drive you know, all of this. Uh, and, and in essence, uh, these guys have, uh, are working on a product called Sensei, which is or more than working on. It's their, it's their uh, AI platform within their technology that is used for multiple purposes, all the way from tracking data and making recommendations about who to target in an email campaign through to the creative process and assisting the creative process. This particular example they showed live on stage two years ago, I think. Uh, and on this one, they took a napkin on which they'd sketched an ad for a movie poster, for a, a movie about animals in Australia. And then they essentially kind of scanned that sketch and then started using voice commands to get Sensei to produce the content that you see on screen. And Sensei would go through and it would pick out images that match certain criteria. Like, for example, we want a dramatic backdrop. It picked out the shape of the, uh, the animals they'd sketched on the paper, and not sketched well, by the way, and identified them as the right animals, a kangaroo, a koala, and then picked the best images that would fit into that space. So for a business like mine, which currently uses people predominantly to do this kind of work, uh, that's a pretty dramatic change coming down the pipe. And then we have the, uh, the act of um, uh, how we interact and how our clients interact with their customers. Uh, and this is just a quick example of the kind of AI challenge that we have to deal with. It's a product that got, uh, got launched uh, last week for Colgate. Sorry, I don't understand. Google Assistant was designed for adults. So we taught Google how to speak kid. Okay, Google, talk to brush with me. Who do you want to brush with today? You can say Toothrex or Mamba the Monkey. Um, Dinosaur. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what I should have said was that this is, this is a product which is designed to encourage kids to brush their teeth. It's designed so that it will play them music that they can brush to and gives them some instruction about the right way to kind of go about brushing. Uh, uh, and, and of course, we, we faced a pretty significant problem that you couldn't get kids to say exactly the right words, but got around it. 